Hello, my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're gonna get into Virgo, your weekly tarot reading for August. All right, so if you enjoy this tarot reading today, Virgo, let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading resonates in the comments below, because that's how we keep up with y'all, is through the comments, Virgo, as well as if you do enjoy this vibe or just this tarot reading, darling, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. It's completely free to do, and I really appreciate those who take the extra time to do that, Virgo, because I understand y'all don't have to, all right? Now, Virgo, when it comes to consuming your tarot readings today, Day, be sure to consume more than just your one zodiac sign get your sun moon rising as well as your venus and today's reading virgo your first row we're going to be talking about your physical pursuits your desires your projects career financial your second row uh today virgo we're going to be talking about your social life we could be talking about a romantic or a platonic relationship in your life family or what have you right your third row we're going to be getting into some just general spiritual messages here predictions for you tour uh what am i calling you taurus virgo and all the like like that so let's get this reading started here for you virgo starting out with this page of wands coming in here for you all right your path is starting to open up for you here the path is being paved the red carpet is being rolled out for you in some facet of your life here virgo all right this is going to be a week where i'm going to tell you to start paying attention to where things are going to be giving you the least amount of resistance all right and your career pa uh, opportunities here are financial your physical pursuits i feel like complications are going to lessen up it's the complications are going to lessen up through opportunities that you're going to be offered all right so let's just say that you've been having like a, a health problem like a dental problem that you need to take care of virgo they haven't had the money to be able to take care of it so you just have like this daunting health issue all right i feel like the opportunity like the page of wands responds to this as where it's like you're gonna have opportunities that either make it so that you can get dental work cheaper or opportunities to make the money or what have you all right when it comes to a relationship in your life here i feel like this is all you thought all was lost but there is still some hope is the first thing that comes to mind when i see your social life here virgo all right i feel like the sense of where you're having like this gut instinct of where you're noticing it's like you're noticing some relationship in your life starting to deteriorate or spiral in not a good way here. And I feel like for you, Virgo, um it's like you there's like this sense for you where you're not really sure how to help it any you're not really sure how to change the outcome from this and so what i want to be really telling you guys at this time virgo is that i see things really working out for you all right i see this sense of where it's like just before you just before you're about to close the door something opens up here all right <clears throat> so let's start getting into these rows here for you virgo all right let's start really clarifying all this here all right let's tapping into your physical pursuits you have this four of cups hanged man as well as this empress energy here uh for you virgo all right i like this energy a lot for you actually when it comes to your physical pursuits here all right this is a sense of an opportunity that you would that has been in front of your face the entire time but you just haven't seen it or maybe you haven't given yourself enough credit for it virgo all right so this is for example it's like again let's just go back to the sense of like you really need to pay you need to find the money to pay so you can have electricity or have running water whatever the case is for you virgo all right i feel like the uh, the resolution is right under your nose but you're not seeing it here all right now my regulars already know virgo the moment i see this four of cups everyone's always like oh boy Velka's about to go off honey all right but i feel so passionately about the four of cups because you see this individual here arms crossed eyes closed representing and that's you darling that's you virgo um where you're being closed off here not open to your opportunities coming in for you darling because of your current situation those three empty cups right but then because you have your you're so closed off you don't even see spirit offering this cup to you and be like hey virgo just consider this right here it's right under your nose darling all right but you're not being open-minded and this is the key the reason why i feel so passionately about this virgo is because that is the key when you see that four of cups the only thing that you need to do to change to have everything start working out for you virgo is having that self-awareness is being aware about what's being offered right in front of you here all right there is this sense of needing to change your perspective all right maybe you need to uh, go after your self-defeating attitude here or maybe you need to stop doubting your capabilities on doing certain things it's as if you have the op like the capabilities for example virgo to have a really successful 
like Etsy business or Etsy store, like whatever it is, right? You have the opp you have the ability to have something successful like that, but you've never put the energy into it because you're just like, oh, nah, that's not for me, or just like whatever the case is. But it's just like no, like you've literally been sitting on this this entire time, Virgo. All right, and so this is gonna be a week of where you're gonna have a lot of reminders this week, Virgo, about that situation. All right, so pay attention to the signs because spirit is really going to be dropping lots of nuggets of just like hints and clues of where it is that you need to start leaning the energy into because it is right around you it is literally under your nose where we're going all right now getting into your social life here this is where it's a little bit more interesting virgo you have that ace and six of swords coming in with this uh lover's energy here all air energy because the lovers is that gemini all right but and so this is lets me know with all this air energy it's as if like you're thinking one way about this relationship in your life here virgo and the other person involved with this is also thinking their own thing here all right i feel as if if you guys were just to speak your truth here ace of swords is that card of speaking Speaking your truth about a situation here this is what you this is what would end up happening y'all would end up embracing each other all right y'all would end up realizing that you guys were meant to be together all right that spirit brought you together darling and honestly this person how they you know whatever the case is i know this looks romantic darling because i mean they're literally i mean i mean no judgment here darling all right some of y'all's friendships might look like this but like this is just a sense of like any type of connection that you have going on here it's like y'all will understand like how meant for each other you guys are and how much you compliment each other but it is the sense of needing to speak the truth here all right girl not these being upside down needing to speak that truth and i feel like that truth ends up being spoken when someone starts walking out to the door all right that's what i feel for this is like someone starts walking out the door and then that's like the wake-up call for this person to speak their truth whether that's you or this other person here but the ace of swords is the heart of this energy here uh, for you, Virgo. All right. This Ace of Swords is the sense of like speaking your truth and allow the cards fall where they need to fall, darling. All right. So that's what I got on that. Speaking of the like, communication and that sword energy, though, of course, Virgo, you got that Page of Swords naturally. All right. This Magician and then this Knight of Pentacles for you. All right. So Page of Swords, the themes this week for you is refining communication that is not being communicated here. All right. Someone's not speaking their truth. This card. Someone's not speaking their truth here. You know. I would say pay attention to everything that it is that you're doing at this time, Virgo, because I feel like people are very pay, like v noticing every small body body language change with you and how you speak and how you text and all that. I feel like because it's like because perspectives are not being said, truths are not being said here, Virgo. People are just being left with over analyzing, all right, and then allowing the anxiety to take course, and then that's what impacts this relationship and slows things down here, all right. Magician and Pentacle, Knight of Pentacles energy for you here. Communications aside, all right, because relationships for you, Virgo, I feel like are just like too much, darling. All right, too, too, too much. So we'll move on from that. I feel like productivity-wise for you, Virgo. All right, I like this energy for you, but I do want to remind you all right this magician energy this magician is the one that creates the reality that they want to see in this world virgo all right and so this is the one that takes action on like uh, you know going forward with that idea virgo all right just going forward with that business idea doing what it is that's been sitting under your nose this entire time but you haven't been wanting to put any effort or the work to do that all right and it's been a slow pace for you all right i feel like you're delaying the inevitable here virgo if i am going to be brutally honest with you darling all right because i feel like your path is meant to do certain things i feel like you're meant to do or at the very least have a certain type of experience um life experience with whether this is like a living situation or a career like you're meant to do or go through something very specific in your physical life here and you may have been taking steps up until this point of avoiding it whether it's like tr you know whatever whatever your whatever your personal reasoning is right that's not my business but i feel like you're destined to have certain things happen to you all right and i feel like you're destined to have certain things not i don't really want to say happen to you but happen for you virgo and you're destined to go like experience and do and speak to certain people all right let's start clarifying these rows for you clarifying your career 
first and foremost, that Ace of Cups coming right out, all right? These, this Temperance Energy here, and then this Ace of Pentacles, all right? Two Aces. This is the green light as any tarot reader, darling, all right? When you see more than one Ace, darling, that's like the green light of just being like, darling, go, all right? You cannot get a better fortune than this here. You've been patient for way too long here, Virgo, all right? Patient for way too long. Maybe some of you guys have just been waiting for the perfect scenario, the perfect situation here, like whatever the perfect case is, but I feel like it's enough waiting here, Virgo, and it's time to take action. And once you finally start taking action, you, you, you'll almost feel ridiculously silly for how long you've been sitting, like waiting and delaying things, because if you just took action, on this thing from the very get-go Virgo that has been sitting under your nose this entire time darling all right come on now all right I'm not gonna continue harping on you on, on that but page of pentacles energy in the back of the deck of this as well page of pentacles that new stream of revenue you know pages comes with good news brings in news page talks about new energy all right now is the time to be experimenting Virgo now not later now not later is what I keep on hearing clarifying your social row now let's get into this here five of wands here naturally the chariot energy <clears throat> queen of cups five of wands queen of cups chariot energy here and then the three of swords in the back of the deck here i am going to be very brutally honest here as well virgo all right i feel like if someone doesn't speak their truth loud enough yet you're going to just deal with more complications because i feel as if people are just like i feel like the persons that you're dealing with virgo are going off of things off of their own narratives like they like you know how the saying goes where it's just like there's always three sides to a story there's your truth their truth and the actual truth right i feel like they're basing it off of their your truth and you're basing it off of your truth you know like i'm not saying that you're not being truth you know you get the point i don't want to be i don't want to be caught in the middle of this virgo but um yeah i feel like that there's gonna come like a boiling point boiling over point here for this and because and you want to stop this and nip this in the butt ahead of time all right you want to nip this in the butt now before people continue on with their assumptions all right <clears throat> so that's what I got on that for you, Virgo. Let's get an oracle card to clarify all this for you this week here. But hopefully this reading gave you some clarity, a sense of direction, Virgo, of your life and where things are going to be going. Ultimately, I feel really positive about where things are, what what is happening for you, uh, Virgo. All right. I feel like this is like a lot of uncomfortable changes, but with that discomfort brings in a lot of abundance, brings in a lot of things that you have been wanting to accomplish for a long time now. And naturally, darling, you get the initiation card number 54 equaling to nine virgo all right so go ahead and write down to the number write down the number nine to look at that up and see what number that like what message that represents in numerology but this card talks about the crossing initiation you're going through initiation right now virgo all right you're 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 being put to the test here all right it was i think it was libra's reading the other week where it's just like libra where like their commitment was being tested like they were going through a test um libra's were and now i feel like it's your turn virgo all right it's very fitting for y'all because y'all's birthdays y'all's birthdays are like right next to each other so they're both coming up here all right so just understand that, Virgo. That's the reason why things feel so rough for you right now. It's because you're going through that initiation. You're going through boot camp, essentially, here, darling. All right? It's not that you're doing anything wrong. It's just boot camp. All right? Boot camp isn't supposed to be fun, honey. All right? So I love you so much, Virgo, and hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future. Bye, darling, Virgo.